This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is functional location. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is functional location, purpose of creation of functional location, okay, structure indicator of labeling, we will see what is the structure indicator, then creation of functional location, how to create functional location we will see, list entry of functional locations, how to create functional location in mass, use of reference functional location, then alternate labeling of functional location, and configuration of functional location. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the functional location. Okay, so in our customer service module, the technical objects which we discussed is equipment, this topic we have covered already, and then we covered serial numbers, and today we are covering functional location. So basically, this functional location is created in customer service module to have your customer location structure. So we are selling the product, we are selling the equipment to the customer, and we want to see where that equipment is exactly available at customer location. Your customer may have different manufacturing facilities, different distribution centers, different HR offices in different countries, in different cities. So I want to know, I want to track where exactly that particular product which I sold to the customer is available at customer location. Is, is available at customer location. That we want to see. Okay. So for that, you will be creating a customer location hierarchy as, as, a, as a functional location. Okay. So, so then first we'll start with the introduction to functional location. Okay. So functional location, it's it's like a it's a it's a structured hierarchy of the customer locations customer location it's a structured way we put it as a hierarchy okay so the criteria can be functional area technical area or a spatial area okay so this one business object functional location is an organizational unit within logistics that structures the maintenance objects of a company according to functional process related or spatial criteria okay a functional location represents the place at which a maintenance task is to be performed. Okay, so your equipments are available at functional locations. So there you can do some maintenance task or customer service task. A functional location represents system area at which an object can be installed. So normally that object is uh, equipment. The objects that can be installed at a functional location are called pieces of equipment in the ACP system. So normally you, in, you install the equipments at the functional location. Okay. So this is the one. So why is a functional location created? Execution of maintenance tasks, recording of maintenance tasks, data collection over, over longer period of time, cost monitoring by area. Okay. What effect do the usage conditions have on the likelihood of damage? to the installed aggregates. So if you want to monitor anything area wise, area wise, then you create that area as a functional location. Okay, so these are the reasons basically. Okay, so the, the data in the functional location is maintained in these sections, general tab, location tab, organization tab, structure tab. On top of that, you can enter some other data, but this data is normally entered at equipment level equipment level so in at the functional location level you just maintain the ba minimum basic information information okay so to create functional locations we need structure indicator okay so it's mandatory it's a prerequisite so we will understand what is this structure indicator okay functional locations are created using structure indicator structure indicator contains two fields coding template and hierarchy levels okay it contains two things either one is coding template one is hierarchy levels coding template use it to control which characters may be used when a label is assigned and how these characters are grouped together or split okay so coding template means at, at each hierarchy level 
which hierarchy level what is a coding template this conference will now be recorded okay so we are discussing about the structure indicator okay so it will have coding template coding template will give you how many characters are allowed what type of characters then the next one is hierarchy levels use it to define which level and set what which character and how many hierarchy levels the structure may contain okay so coding template and hierarchy levels are required so here this is a typical one you see here this is the coding template it is also called as edit mask whether you call it as edit mask or whether you call it as coding template both are same so here you see this is hierarchy level one level two level three like this level four level five like this you have okay so here a means system will allow you to enter only alphabetics n if you maintain n it will allow you to enter only numeric values if you maintain x it will allow both alpha numeric alpha numeric. and if you maintain yes it will allow special characters also okay so this is called edit mask and this each one is a level each level is separated by a, a, a hyphen okay so this basically to create functional location you need a structure indicator it gives you the levels levels hierarchy basically as a hierarchy okay so this structure indicator is required okay, so now we will create a structure indicator based on my experience i'll create a structure indicator so let's go to the system now Okay. Uh, recording is on. Oh, yeah, yeah, recording is on. Recording is on. Don't worry. Okay, so. Okay, so let's create a structure indicator. So, how I will create a structure indicator is I'll just uh, based on my experience what I will do. First, we will create. We are selling it to a customer right so first we will create company as a as one level company next level its unit its unit okay like unit one unit two okay so this is next level okay next level department department so this we will create depart department as the next level okay so by coding structure i want to give it as xxx first level iphone next level is xxn next level is department right xxx okay so like this i want to create so first level is this is one this is level two and this is level three three levels i want to have okay so let's create a structure indicator so it is a configuration you need to go to configuration sp sap reference img okay scroll down go to plan maintenance and customer service okay go to master data in plan maintenance and customer service open this go to basic settings go to technical objects go to functional locations okay here create structure indicator for reference locations or or functional locations so click on this you already have some some uh, 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 structure indicators over here we will create a new one click on new entries okay i will put it as uh what do you call tio or or i will put it as hold up i'll put it as hold up okay structure indicator indicator for honda honda automobiles okay and now give your edit mask so first four four characters right xx 
xx hyphen what is the one we decided next xxn n and the next one is 4x okay and now here you have to at the at the end of that hierarchy you have to give its level okay done enter okay so first one is the company second one is the unit third one is a department within that unit plant this is a middle one is like a plant okay so why we are creating this is we are manufacturing diesel generators and we are selling it to honda company and in honda company this hierarchy we are creating then we will install our equipments which we sold outside which we sold to them at this functional location so first let me save the structure indicator then continue okay so structure indicator is created using this structure indicator now we will be creating the functional location so let me open one more session so the t code is il01 so let me show you the menu part go to logistics go to go to plan mint go to customer service also you can go okay functional location okay 